the importance of units. Any type of measurement, length, time, mass, etc., needs both a number and a unit if that measurement is to be understood by someone else. Without units, the numbers could easily be misunderstood. For example, if you say a bag of potatoes weighs 12, do you mean it weighs 12 ounces or 12 kilograms? If you say a table is 34 wide, do you mean it is 34 centimeters wide or 34 inches wide? If you say a video runs for 127, do you mean 127 minutes or 127 seconds? In the right context, someone might be able to guess the units, and if everyone always used the same units, there would be no ambiguity. However, there are many standard units in use, and therefore many ways to misinterpret a measurement without units. If you want to make sure your measurements are clear, they must include units as well. For each type of measurement, there are many different types of units to choose from. Consider the unit of time. To measure the length of the video clip, you could give units in seconds, or maybe minutes, or a combination of minutes and seconds, or even hours, or days. There are many units representing time, but some are more appropriate for a particular case than others. For example, days and years are rather unwieldy units with which to measure this video. However, all the different units when combined with the numbers they are associated with tell us exactly the same thing. How long it will take to watch the video. Deciding which units are appropriate for a given measurement depends on many things. Your choice might depend on what tool you use to make the measurement. Or it might depend on the parameters of a specific question. It might even depend on who you expect to use the information. It is often simply a matter of experience to know which units are the best to use in a given situation. But as long as you include units with your measurement, other people will be able to understand it.